welcome to the Gathering Site blog, formerly known as Just the Gathering Site, selling fantasy cards, and Queen City Gems, which was my blog I started five years ago, I think. Whoa, that's a long time ago. How did we become a combination of the two? It's a really good question. And for those who don't know what fantasy cards are, here is my quick and concise definition. Fantasy cards, as an example, are Pokemon, Magic, and currently Yu-Gi-Oh, which is our, probably our top seller as of current. Um, it seems to be a super popular card game. It's a really strange card game. I play Magic with my husband, and Yu-Gi-Oh is super tricky for me to keep track of. So those that don't know how to play, don't feel bad. It's really confusing. And for those that uh, don't know what Queen City Gems was, Queen City Gems was a blog I started when my son Soren was super young. I think he was barely even a year old. And I was inspired by a lot of other moms blogging about things like food, family, and culture. And I always found those things pretty fascinating. It became a way for me to talk about the things that I really enjoy doing with my family. And some things that I really enjoy doing professionally as well. So, how did it become The Gathering Site? The Gathering Site uh, was the name of my husband's fantasy card company. The cards are currently listed on TCG Player, and you can find the links on our homepage, and you can also comment on our Facebook page as well. Now, the Queen City Gems site, being something I started a long time ago, I already had the blog platform set up, and instead of trying to manage two completely separate entities, we decided to combine our efforts together. And it's interesting because the Gathering Site says a lot about our family in general. Our family. I went from being a single mom of one son to now being the wife and mother and stepmother of now four sons. Four. And that includes three six-year-olds and a four-and-a-half, five-month-old boy. So we have uh, twins from my husband's previous marriage and then Soren, my singleton, and a four-and-a-half, five-month-old little boy that we just welcomed into this world last September um, on the 8th here at home, which was a really fun and amazing adventure for everybody involved because everybody was home for his beautiful, wonderful birth. The blog is about our family and this is what you're watching, a vlog. And if you've never heard of a vlog before, it's a video blog, hence the word vlog. I never considered vlogging. I started a podcast with a colleague of mine a long time ago and enjoyed that, but didn't really care to pick up a podcast again. A good friend of mine and our former nanny put the bug in my ear that, hey, Chelsea, you should vlog. She vlogs as well, and her vlog is fantastic, and it's super entertaining. And I highly recommend watching it. Nothing's ever too long, nothing's ever too short, and it's usually pretty comedic. And so she told me, you do all this fun stuff with the kids, and and you like being a mom and you talk about it a ton, she said, well, maybe you should consider vlogging, showing what you do with the kids, showing how you cook, showing decisions to do certain things and why, like things like cloth diapers, making baby food, all those sorts of really big monumental decisions in your family, which you don't think are monumental at the time, but end up saving a whole lot of green and also giving your children a pretty unique experience. I am going to give this a shot. The vlog is going to contain conversations about a lot of different things, and I'm hoping to show a lot of the crafting things I do with the kids, some of the teaching, uh, bring up heavy topics like homeschooling versus public school, public school versus private school. Our kids are currently enrolled in the public school system, but my husband was homeschooled, so we have a lot of really interesting conversations like that at home. On the blog, you'll probably hear from my husband as well. What does he do? My husband, his day job, is a police officer with the Cincinnati Police Department, and it's been an interesting ride from his academy into his probationary period where he's about ready to finish. And it's fascinating considering the political spectrum and everything that's going on. My husband is also a military veteran. He served in the Army for four years and the National Guard for two. And so it's been a really unique learning experience for me personally, who doesn't have a background in any of that at all before we got married. For me, I am now proudly a stay-at-home mom. I used to record for National Public Radio affiliates, WGC and WVXU. Um, my principal position there, if you ever followed the blog before you already know this, was recording the Cincinnati Symphony Orchestra, both for archive and live recordings, broadcasts, and commercial work. It's been an interesting ride and transition from being formally employed with a salary to now being a stay-at-home mom. The blog's basically going to cover all of that, which is a huge chunk of stuff. 
but I will continue below about my decisions to become a stay-at-home mom, why, the benefits, uh, the hardships, the transition, which has been pretty tough in some ways and pretty fantastic in others. Um, from now on, I will try to post a vlog or a video blog, if you will, as often as I possibly can. You'll probably hear screaming in the background and kids going crazy, but that's just kind of the way our household is. Um, they are active children and they are crazy and they are amazing. I will do the best that I can posting vlogs and whatever I leave out or I can't keep concise between three to five minutes, I will be posting below. Any recipes or food things that I do with the children, I will put instructions and recipes below as well, along with craft ideas. And I will also have the links at which I got some of those ideas, things like the kid fridge. We will cover all of that on this vlog and see what you think and let me know. Until the next time, uh, if you have any comments, questions, or things you would like to hear talk about please let me know you can click on the comments below or on the YouTube channel as well thank you and see you next time